I hope all of you is having a productive damn day. In the game, yeah. So you best know my name, yeah. Fuck out of money and fame, yeah. I'ma keep doing my thing, yeah. I'll be the best in the game, yeah. Everybody knows my name, yeah. Fuck out of money and fame, yeah. That shit is so overplayed, yeah. Party YouTube, Ice Cream Man, I'm back again with another video. Listen, um, I don't know uh, the full details. I just know that the guy, Marcus May, was arrested Thursday. Um, assault charge with a weapon. I didn't really dig too much deep into it like most people would. When I saw this article, and I'm just going to give my quick thoughts upon it. When I saw this article on the Bleach Report, I was sitting here thinking, um, was this brother, like, was this was the charge he was charged with before? Um, <coughs> because I know he had probably something like a DUI or driving drunk. He had something going on before the season. Now it's more reports talking about a assault charge with a weapon. So I, so at first I was thinking, is this is the same charge or are they just bringing it up or this is something new? Once again, ding dong, I should have did my research on it. But just by me seeing that, and I'm still in my feelings, and I seen that, and I'm going to dive right into it. I probably will make a second video if it's that, you know, if it's, you know, if it's really, you know, something that I should make. But what I'm just sitting here, and I'm just going to share, like, this is raw reaction, by the way. Like, I like I look at things, and I do a little bit of peek and see what's going on, and then I give it to you completely off the dome of how I feel. You know, that's why it's a thoughts and opinion video. So, uh, with that being said, uh, the way how I'm looking at this now, it, it just like, we just gave away CJ Gordon Johnson. And now, um, if he do end up getting time, which I thought he was already going to get time for the drive and drug DUI situation, whatever the hell that is. Now, now it's an assault charge. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, Sh I mean, is he going to get time or whatever? Like, who's going to fill in? So not just only that we will have to worry about the slot position. We'll also have to worry about who is going to perhaps um, take the time to take his spot during his absence. What I'm saying is, if we are going to give away player Saints uh, organization, we're going to have to understand something. These players mess up a lot. They mess up a lot. They go out here. They do some dumb shit. They're human at the end of the day. I I know most people be like, well, you ain't in the NFL, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, they are human. They are going to make mistakes. That's why it's important to have a deep roster. And that's why I look at it probably keeping Chris Gardner-Johnson. I, I know I'm salty. But probably just to keep this guy around for one more year, then just let him hit the free agency mark, you know. Probably just keeping him probably would have been the best thing. I mean, when you got dumbasses out there doing shit like that. So, uh, I mean, you know, that's my thoughts up on it. Uh, I hope it's not nothing too serious. I hope it's nothing that can give him more time if he do get uh, charged charge with suspension. Um, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to dig deep right into it. I just wanted to share my raw reaction with you guys. So, um, uh, if you guys know the full story about this assault charge or the DUI charge, or if he even getting suspended, feel free to hit the comment section down below. And, um, once again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And I hope all of you is having a productive damn day.